Hello children, I'm Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and I have to, a question to ask you all. Do any of you remember a game called Banjo-Kazooie? Because I remember Banjo-Kazooie on the Nintendo 64, and so people have said, whatever happened to Rare, you know, all the original people that made Donkey Kong Country and Banjo-Kazooie, they're all gone now. Well, they're the team behind, the developers behind those two came back for a Kickstarter like a Banjo-Kazooie spiritual successor called Ukulele. Heh. <laughs> and I, it's funny because I get the pun. But anyway, so I haven't really, I don't think I've ever seen a trailer for this before. And so I'm very excited to see what it is and see if it will tickle that nostalgic funny bone that isn't very funny because a bone hurts when it's being manipulated. Anyway, let's watch this. <clears throat> Not yet rated. Even that logo is bringing me back. Oh shit. Yeah, this is looking really nice. I'm getting a lot of goosebumps right now. Oh man, this is... Holy shit. Oh, wait, it's coming to Wii U? But I thought no one gave a shit about the Wii U anymore. <laughs> That's very interesting. Anything else with the end? <laughs> yeah! That's funny. So Team 17's the publisher, okay. Yeah, that's, oh man. Uh, okay, that brought me so much joy after the, um, after that Agents of Mayhem trailer. Uh, there, wasn't there another game trailer that I just, oh, and the Watch Dogs 2 trailer, my god, this beats all of it. Because it look, it looks like a modern N64 game, or in that case, it looks like, but it, it's bringing back the 3D platformer, a genre that has been pretty much kind of dead for quite some time, but it feels like, you know, with the new Ratchet & Clank soft reboot, I guess you would call it, and now this is coming, and then... We all, but oh, it's not 3D, but we have Bloodstained coming. So it's like this whole resurgence of the old developers coming back and making spiritual successors to a lot of classic games from my generation on the N64, PS1, and things like that. Uh, it just makes me very excited for the future. And this gameplay, it's so good. It looks... It feels like my childhood coming back saying, hey, you know how you only have 553 YouTube subscribers and you wish you had a hell of a lot more attention because this is what you want to be doing with your life, Mr. Gaming Guitarist? Yes, self, I remember that. Hey, you want to feel happy again? Look at this game, ukulele. Oh shit, it reminds me of my childhood. So yeah, that brought back all the happiness that I needed. That, that's, that was good, that was good. So I, I, oh man, oh, and then I, and then I just remembered, E3 is less than, well, it's only six days away on Sunday for EA and Bethesda's conference. I'm so excited. Man, this, this trailer gave me the jolt of energy I needed to get excited that E3 is a thing that I should be caring about, and it is the most magical time of the year. 
Oh boy, I, yeah, so I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy. Mr. Gaming Guitarist, the gaming side has, is, the, this is what's awakening that side of me again, and I'm happy, I'm happy. So anyways, uh, I'm Mr. Gaming Guitarist, you can follow me on Twitter and on my Facebook page, which is Official Gaming Guitarist, or Gaming Guitarist Official, I forget what it is, it's in the description, and you can also support me on Patreon if you, if you actually, by some miracle, care about my content at all and want to support me, I'd appreciate that very much. So anyways, E3, six days away. I can't wait to start making videos to my thoughts on all the conferences. Uh, I can't wait for that. I'm so excited. So I'll see you then. Or whenever the, or maybe during the Watch Dogs 2 uh, conference. Or uh, Watch Dogs 2 livestream. And I'll make a video of my thoughts on that. We'll see what happens. But anyways, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future content from me. Bye.